time now for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam LaSant Show. Now here's your host, Sam LaSant. Well, folks, he has over 300,000 hits on YouTube. He has uh, recorded One Day, uh, Look Into Your Eyes. He's a singer, he's a songwriter, and he's at the ripe old age of 12. Yes, folks, my guest today is Liam Liz. Uh, for those of you in the greater Hazelton area, you recall Liam. He was here. He was a big sensation here at Fun Fest. Did a great job, and I'm very happy to have him on the Sam LaSanne Show, uh, along with his manager and uh, producer, uh, as, uh, uh, the LED. Uh, well, Liam, how are you? Great. Great. Thanks, thanks for coming on the Sam LaSanne Show. I'm honored that you're on my show. Yeah, this is this is a true honor. I'm so excited. Could we, uh, could you and I maybe see, think we could record a duet together? You heard me sing. I've yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. So you're 12 years old, huh? 12 years old. Just you married? Uh, no. No, no, not, not married. Yet. Hey, so, you know, f first of all, you know, it's, uh, I, I heard you um, w when you were here at Fun Fest, and you did a great job. You have a beautiful personality. You really do. Thank um, you. 12 years old. Okay, now, I don't know how much I could talk to you about for 12 years old because, you, you know, you have a, but you certainly have an experience here, right? Yes. When did you first start singing? I started singing when I was five. I um, played piano, drums, and a little bit of ukulele, so I can't remember, I, I always remember me having an instrument in my hand. So, so now, you, any brothers or sisters? I have two brothers and one sister. And now, how old are your brothers? Well, my youngest brother, he is uh, three. My sister is six, and my other brother is five. So they're really cute. So you're the big man in the family. <laughs> okay. Big brother, yeah. Now, when you started, you said you, you started when you were five years old? Yes. Did you always have a, a, a desire to play an instrument? Or? Yes. Um, I, I just love music. It's just amazing. Yeah, it's just... You really you get involved with it. I, yeah, when I'm writing my songs, it's like I'm in a whole nother, nother world, so. You're 12 years old. I mean, people are saying, this kid's 12 years old. He's writing music, he's singing, okay? So you're a, you're a child protege. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so when you, what was the, the very first instrument you started playing? Drums, but uh, like the bongo drums. So, but I never had a lesson. I just picked it up, so I'm pretty good at it. And then you went to? Then I went to piano. I have, now, did you have lessons on piano? Yes, I had lessons on piano and... Um, How old were you when you started playing the piano? Five, five, yeah. Five? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, ukulele, you said, right? Ukulele, I just started to play. Um, That's it's new. Really Ukulele's new. New, yeah. Ukulele's yeah, new. Ukulele is new. When, you start, when you start playing, um, you know, the piano, all right? Um, because you got, you're natural, there's no question about it. I think you just, some people are born with it, you know. Um, when you start playing piano, um, what was the very first song that, how, how did you think about writing a song? At the, you know, wh how old were you when you first, when you rang your, wrote uh, your first song? Five. Five years old? <laughs> and what song was it? I don't remember the name, but I was, it was a pretty good song, I must say. Yeah? My mom liked it a lot. Yeah. Know. What did your mom and dad say about, you know, you being involved in your, well, we're going to talk about what you're doing and who you're opening up for, I think is unbelievably fantastic. Um, what did your mom and dad say, you know, uh, well, Liam's? My, my family, they're really supportive of me. They're, they just let me do my music. I'm so happy for that. And, I love my family. All right, now, you're 12 years old. There's yes. such a thing we call school. School, yes. You got to go to school. Yes. Right? So how do you manage that? I mean... Well, I have a really cool principal. His name is Mr. Dunham. I'll uh, just get you an A right off the bat. You're trying to <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mr. Dunham, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he's, why is he so cool? He lets me do my music. Maybe like some other principals may, let, may not let but me you do But you have to still do your work, right? Yes, yes. So... I do my work, but um, but he just lets me do what I want. Okay. I'm really happy for that. But you still have to fulfill your 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 grades. And how are your yes. grades? Oh, I'm, it's pretty good. I'm probably like a A student. Oh, you're a wise guy too. <laughs> wise guy too. Yeah, you're a singer. You're an A student. Now, do you have do you, I mean, do you have a normal life. I mean, you're 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 singing. You're traveling. You're 12 years old. Do you have a normal life? Oh yeah, I have some. I have some cool friends back in the city, so yeah. And you live where? Um, Manhattan. Don't forget, you and I are going on the road. We're going to sing a duet. Yeah. I don't care what your manager says, we're going to do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm all for it, by yeah, the way. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, now, okay, so you have a normal life. 
You, yeah. you, you play, you have friends, right? Mm. Do you see, um, you know, being 12 years old, I mean, you're, you're very matured for your age, okay? Do you feel that you're missing anything, you know, in the development stages of being a young boy, 12 years old, um. being involved in you oh, know, the well, high well, you know, society? I don't play that much video games now because um, that's what a lot of my friends do. But um, I, I have this new video called uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. That's awesome. So that's really cool. I play that a lot. So. You do? Yeah, it's really cool. Now, you said you wrote, uh, you have 300,000 hits uh, of yes. close on, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a little bit, I have a little bit more than that, but oh, yeah. I'm not going to be a, a wise <laughs> guy. In two months. Uh, in two, uh, okay, all right. I'll listen. Am I talking to you? <laughs> yeah, I'm right. I try to tell you. I'm up to like 17 million hits on YouTube. Nice. That's nice. in my imagination. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's that's fantastic. Three uh, And 300,000 hits on YouTube is, is, is just fantastic. You're, you're, you wrote One Day. Yes. Okay, now how, yeah. when you write a song, do you... Is it something that you experience in your life, or you? How did how did these songs like one day? What's it about? It's about like um. Well, I get my inspiration from like I watch a lot of movies, so and there's sometimes like a little romantic in there, so I try to write off of them, and then I just sit on my keyboard and just write songs. So. Is that right? And how about look into your eyes? Is that from a romantic movie? That, that uh, so? no, no, oh, but um, that's pretty. That's, that's pretty you, upbeat. You have a girlfriend? I'm working on one. Oh boy! <laughs> now you got look into your eyes. How'd you get? How'd you come up with that song? Well, it's pretty. What upbeat. inspired you for that song? Oh, uh, girls. <laughs> girls, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm mostly girls. Yeah. So, so you, have a spe you have a specific girlfriend? We won't tell anybody well, what's her name. Just uh, between you and I. All right, so I'm trying to work on a girl. Um, her name is Kiki. So, yeah. Kiki? Yeah. You, i got to tell you, come up with some strange names here, okay? <laughs> what, what, is she in your school? Uh, no, she goes to Chapin in okay. New York City. So. All right, does she know that you know you have a little crush on Uh. I think so. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. We, we won't say anything, though. We'll just keep it between the both of us. Okay. Are you going to write a song for her? Um, probably one day, yeah. yeah. Does she know that you like her? Uh, yeah. yeah. And how old is Kiki? She's 11. I think she just turned 12. But yeah? yeah. That's good. So you feel that you have a, a, a normal childhood so far? Yeah, and yeah. I play sports like basketball, baseball. I'm pretty athletic. So yeah. Are you really? Yeah. Well, you're just one heck of a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I'm talking to Liam Liz, okay? As you can see, um, well, well uh, uh, knowledge, uh, knowledgeable in, in his area, uh, 12 years old, going on probably 25 or 30. Uh, <laughs> but this kid is, is, is opening for some great acts, okay? And, and you probably know when we come back, we're going to talk to his manager and how this whole thing evolved. Stay with us. Thanks for staying with us, folks. I'm Sam Lasant. You're watching the Sam Lasant Show. Remember, the official water for the SSP TV and Samson Productions is none other but the greatspringwater.com. This is our official water, folks. Uh, this is all over. You're buying water. You don't even know you're buying Great American Spring Water. It's Great Spring Water. Um, it is. Uh, it says here, it's like good, but better. This is our official water. Go to our website, folks, and you'll be able to get this water. Also, 24-7 ssptv.com my email sam at ssptv.com thank you so much folks local news 13 over 70,000 people watching it weekday and our show thank you for making us the number one talk show in northeastern pennsylvania i really appreciate it over 150,000 people of you are watching our show as well as the girls 130 some thousand up we just got the latest surveys in uh, another show uh, all our shows are doing great we appreciate that and we thank you so much for watching uh, now back to our guest here folks we have a celebrity on the on here we have liam liz you remember him if you came to fun fest he is a singer songwriter a song, songwriter has over 300,000 hits on youtube and he's at the ripe old age of 12 right you're 12 going on 25 i think right yeah <laughs> now, remember when you become really a super you're a star and now when you become a yeah. super superstar remember sam lasant okay of course that's me Absolutely. Okay? okay and then you and i can maybe do a song together we can get rid of your manager and i can take over <laughs> yes speaking of manager hey uh, uh ali how are you i'm very good thank that's you good. thank nice you nice to see you again uh thanks for having us you were very gracious to us uh at fun fest we had a lot, we had a lot awesome. of fun he did fabulous as amazing you. amazing show now, tell me about you, Allie. 
So I'm a uh, songwriter, record producer, uh, manager. Uh, been in the business about 25 years. Um, I uh, produce a lot of recording artists. Um, I also specialize in film and, uh, film and TV, music for film and TV. So um, everything from Alvin and the Chipmunks to Transformers, Sex and the City, Muppets, Despicable Me Too, things like that. Now how were you involved with all of those movies? So um, uh, probably about maybe 11 years ago, um, I wanted to try something new um, other than just writing for, for singers and, and recording artists. I wanted to create music for film. Um, and uh, I was just a persistent guy and I got into the Hollywood system. I picked up the phone, I started calling everybody and uh, said, uh, you know, let me write you a song for your new movie. And uh, it uh, took a long time, but finally took off and, you know, I'm blessed. So now, when did you start having this uh, talent? Uh, writing? Yeah. Uh, y you know, sort of like Liam, uh, you know, at a very, very early age. I actually uh, started out as a dancer. I used to dance uh, when I was five. Uh, and I was a dancer probably till I was about uh, 13, 14. Um, studied jazz, tap, ballet, all that stuff. And um, obviously you dance to music. So I fell in love with all different genres of music. Um, and then when I was a teenager, I started actually writing music. I started writing songs. Uh, and it was uh, sort of a natural progression going out of, you know, dance, theater stuff into music and then records and then writing for film. Who was the first uh, song that you wrote for, for, for a, was it a movie? Was it for a celebrity or, or uh, a, a well, songwriter? Or? So, so the, the first song I wrote was actually for me. For you. Um, uh, oh, you sing too? Uh, well, yeah, rap, sing, okay. you know, I mean, not anymore. Okay. You know, you should sing with Liam. I, I, I should not. I am. And okay, I'm, good, good. We got that established. <laughs> but what was the first one that you wrote for? What Because you mentioned some big movies here. Yeah, so the, the, the first song that I wrote for a movie was, uh, uh, it was for a film called Big Fat Liar, mm -hmm. which was uh, 2002 uh, with, uh, uh, with, with uh, Frankie, uh, I think uh, Munez is his name. Mm -hmm. um, so Big Fat Liar, that was the first big film that I had something in. Um, and then... Uh, Sort of a slow, slow progression. You know, it, it took several years to, you know, get a name out there, especially in Hollywood, because I decided to stay on the East Coast. I didn't want to move out to L.A. because um, I think, uh, you know, Pennsylvania, Jersey, Connecticut. You know, we have an edge about ourselves. You know, um, I feel like in California, everyone's so laxed, and you know, they want to have lunch in, for five hours and stuff like that. And you know, out here, we're like. Lunch is 10 minutes, and then we're on to the next thing. Yeah. Um, so it, it, it took a while, but then I got some great shots, and um, it sort so of... You know, Despicable Me, which I love yeah, the movie. So, what so, song? So Despicable Me too. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, I what produced, song did you write there? Well, I, I produced music for that movie. Oh. Um, we did uh, The Minions YMCA. Okay. Uh, oh. So we produced The Minions. That was great. That. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, we also did I Swear, uh -huh. which is also by The Minions. Oh. Uh, we, did, uh, we did a Bob Marley. We reproduced a Bob Marley cover, Jammin', uh -huh. for that. And then we did a, a, a Latin record for the movie, too. Where do you well. do all this? In the studio? Yes. So what, I, I, what studio do you? I have a studio. It's called D-Town Entertainment. Okay. Uh, it's in New York City on 26. And um, what? 26. Uh, 26 Park Avenue South. Okay. Um, so it's, uh, it's a very cool environment. I have an incredible uh, staff of writers and producers that... Um, I get to work with every day, and uh, it's it's incredible. What are the current ones you're working on now? Uh, right now, we're actually working on Alvin and the Chipmunks, a TV series. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're actually writing 52 original songs for wow. that series. Um, we are uh, we just finished um, uh, doing some Pitch Perfect stuff. So we worked on Pitch Perfect, the first film. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're working on uh, Pitch Perfect Christmas record, um, which is going to be pretty exciting. Um, and the the main priority right now, the main you know big thing is is Liam. this guy right here. Now you know sometimes when people hear you know that you do all these things you know yes. it, it sounds great and yes. boy lucky you. But 
there, there's a lot of work. Oh, there's a lot of yes, work that yeah. goes involved. Give yes. me a typical, so our audience knows that, give me like a typical day. that. In, well, in the, uh, okay, you know what? I, I'll give you the last two days of my life. Yeah. I slept one hour. Uh, um, so. Well, then you're crazy. Well, well going to get you the loony bit. I, I, I think you have to be a yeah. little bit crazy, yeah, right? Yeah, to, yeah. To, uh, no, so I wake up in the morning probably about 5.30 because I have two little boys. Oh, I have okay. a seven-year-old and a five-year-old. Oh, great. So they're up at the crack of dawn. Um, I take them to school. Uh, then literally right after I drop them, I head right down to the office. Um, you know, might handle some paperwork, see what, what songs we have to deliver for the day. Um, Liam's schedule has gotten unbelievably hectic. So there are rehearsals for his upcoming tour. He's recording new material, getting songs mixed, photo shoots, <coughs> website, video productions. Um, literally, I would say I end my day. I, I start my day at the office at 8.30, and I end my day at maybe 11 p.m. Wow. So it's, uh, it's a long day. Now, focus on our boy here, Liam. Yes. Okay? Uh, when did you get involved with Liam? So, you know, we, we have a very unique connection. Um, so Liam uh, is in sixth grade. Uh, my oldest boy, who's seven, is in second grade at the same school. So that's actually how we met. Um, so it's, it's pretty, um, it's, uh, I don't know, if you'd call it uh, maybe destiny or fate, uh, where, you know, you have your, your son in a school and there happens to be a talent like this guy. Um, well, how did you know he was a talent? How did that okay, so, so actually what had happened was, I had for a school fundraiser um, about two years ago, I had put up a day in the studio with me um, for, for the fundraiser. And uh, all the parents go and their auction items and stuff like that. So um, Liam bid on the studio time with me because obviously he, he writes songs and he wanted to get in the studio and all the parents at, at the school know that I'm in the music business. So, um, we connected initially that way to about two years ago, and it was amazing. So Liam came in with his song. I was so impressed with it, um, and I was like, you know, this, this guy is going to go far. If he's doing this at, at nine, because I met him actually when he was nine, um, can you imagine what's, what's going to blossom out of this guy? So um, about two years later, after we had done that first song, um, we had reconnected. He had written some new songs, and he wanted me to hear them. I heard them, and I was like, I, I want to work with you. I want to develop you. I want to produce your what music. A, what a fabulous talent. I want to get you out there. You know, and it's amazing because there's, there's no artist like Liam right now in, in his age yes. where they're writing the songs, they, they're playing instruments, um, they can sing so beautifully, and... By the way, this guy right here is so dedicated to his craft where other kids might say, hey, let's go to Dave and Buster's. Let's go over here, play some video games. You know, he just wants to get in the studio and, and perform. perform. Folks, I'm talking to Liam Liz, uh, upcoming a star. You're going to see this guy big time. And um, so happy that he's, he's on the Sam Lasanne show and his, and his manager, uh, um, LED. Uh, we come back, let's talk about role models. What really, you know, is a role model and what uh, Liam really has an obligation to literally thousands upon thousands of young people out there. And we see some good role models and we see some bad ones. And we're hoping we're going to see a good one with uh, Liam. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Sam LaSant Show, folks. I'm Sam LaSant. My guest today Singer, songwriter, 12-year-old sensation, Liam Liz, and his manager, uh, producer, uh, Ali D. Uh, so, Liam, you're going to be opening up for Fifth Harmony, right? Yes. And who else are you opening up in? For? R5. Right. Yeah. And what songs, how, you, well, how much, you got 15 minutes or 20 minutes, how many opening um, Maybe, like, I think 20 minutes, 20 25 minutes. minutes, yeah. Wow. Now, they may like you so much, they may not want to listen to Fifth Harmony. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are we doing then? We have a problem on That's our hands. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about, Liam, you're 12 years old, okay, yes. and, and you're certainly blessed with a lot of talent. Uh, and your mom and dad are still your mom and dad, and you have to, you know, respect them who they are, okay? Now, role models are important. Young people look up to people like mm -hmm. you. And 
sometimes we have some good role models like Hannah Montana when she was around, she was really doing good and then what happens, I don't know, in their life, things happen. <laughs> right. And if it's publicity, okay, fine, I'm not gonna knock the girl. But I mean, sometimes you wonder, was this the girl that we really, you know, developed with? Okay, so we look at you. What would you like to, what kind of role model would you like to be to all those young boys out there and girls? Just, just be always who you are. Be, yeah, just be who you are. It's like, Miley Cyrus, she, well, she's doing what she wants, really, but it's maybe too much. So I'm thinking, always be nice to someone you need, like, in your life, and um, just be who you are, yeah. Now, when you talk about, you know, people look at you, and, and, and certainly that's why I said to Ali, you know, there's a lot of work that's involved. It's not just the glamour of you hitting the stage. They have no idea how many right. hours yeah. upon hours oh, yeah. of work that you put in, and that's important. Sometimes people only see the, oh, you know, right. you're yeah. uh, the celebrity, right. which is, that's what they go and see, okay? Yeah. But to get there, there's, there's a lot of dedication, okay? But here again, if you maintain who you are, like you said, and, you know, be that 12-year-old boy, but yet still be a, a good person yeah. to send out good vibes, you know, you still have brothers and sisters, and you mm -hmm. still, you know, um, have daily activities that young people do at your age. Uh, you don't want to go crazy, you yeah. know, and, but you know what I, I, I've noticed with you, you love what you do, and you, you just really, oh, you're not, no one's forcing you to say, you got to do this, and you have yeah. to do that, because some, a lot of child actors, mm -hmm. their parents were really tough on them, right. as you know, Alan. Yeah. Yes, of I course. I mean, some of them that we know who are major stars, their, their parents just, they didn't have a normal childhood. Right. Is he having a normal childhood? He is, he is. You, you know, I, I think that, you know, Liam, Liam respects the work, he respects the craft, um, I think that, you know, he, you, you know, w when I met him, what I realized is that music and his songwriting are, are, it's his dream. And it's also where he actually is at peace with everything that's going on. So if he's stressing out about a math test or an English test, he sits down at the piano, it all becomes calm. I, and I, I was in the music business for 25 right. years, and uh, I would say even the richest child is poor without music. That's right. Uh, yeah. Because music does so much, you That's know, right. and it creates, right. you know, insane. Now, you're looking forward to opening up for Fifth Harmony? Yes, I'm uh, so excited for yeah. that. And, yeah. uh, where do you see yourself in a couple of years? Um, you know, maybe like a pop, like a pop, pop star, like Justin Bieber, like this stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like opening maybe like. No, when you open up Madison Square Garden, and I call for a ticket, I better get one. Yes. I don't care what Nunzio says. I'm getting a ticket. Okay. okay. Uh, I see a lot of big things from you. You got a beautiful personality. You come from a beautiful family. You have a great manager. It was yes. a family man, which is important. And you know what the moral values are in your life, and that's okay. very, very important for you, 12 years old. I applaud you, and it's so nice and healthy to see young people like you and, and uh, meet guys like you, Ali, who uh, you. have a sincere, honest, thank you. you know, I, and I can sense it. And I want to th thank Bob Mahalik for absolutely. Bob uh, has been a great supporter of the young best. talent, it's and he's always cool. been there for the kids. Uh, Bob does a fabulous job with uh, it, as a school board member anyway, yes. and I want to thank him for that, Bob Mahalik. For thanks, Bob, I appreciate it. So listen, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. I this was honored awesome. to have you on my show. This was an honor too. Uh, uh, this is so exciting. Okay, and Ali, thanks again. Thank you, okay. thank you, boss. Thank Nunzio, you. thanks for coming in. I'm not. Nunzio, I, 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 I call him. Uh, <laughs> what's his name? Uh, Vito. Vito yeah. uh, from Brooklyn. He's a great guy, and he came in as a chaperone, uh, but. Everyone that I've seen affiliated with Liam have always been have been great people, and they got some good solid salt, which is important, folks. We see so much out there now with the drugs and the booze, etc. It's so healthy to have people like this, and I hope you stay that way, because I'll hound you down if you don't. Okay. <laughs> You're watching the Sam Lasancho. Don't forget SSPTV.com. You can watch this anywhere in the world, and Google them or go to YouTube, and you'll see what Liam Liz is all about. See you next time.